Okay, it's Threadripper time. It's been a while since I've touched this. Had some other projects that were taking up some time. We've got some more that are coming up. Obviously, you guys know Intel launches are happening right now, left and right. We got Z370 coming up, but I need to finish Threadripper because I want to do Threadripper versus the 7960X. And uh, yeah, we just need more time in the day. Level up your gaming experience with the Corsair One Small Form Factor Gaming PC. Featuring water-cooled Intel 7th generation processors, M.2 NVMe SSD support, and liquid-cooled GTX 10 series GPUs. To learn more, just head to Corsair.com. So I've currently got this set up so that we have the fittings on the top of the radiator in the back right here, kind of coming out the rear of the case, which I think is neat. But I'm kind of wondering now if I want to flip this over the other way so that way the fittings are here making it easier to keep the tubing inside the case rather than having to come around some crazy way. So I'm having a hard time deciding how I wanna do that. Cause although this is neat looking, it's very constrict, constrictive? It's very, it's limiting what I can do. I'm so tired of having to take this off and like flip it around. I've already done this on the top like five times. Cause I couldn't decide how I wanted it to go. It should be kind of obvious though, based on Mystique, that we decided to go with the silver for this build. Because you know what, I want it to be a very, I want it to be a very monochrome look. And, that's, and, and the blue gives it a nice pop. But I can't remember if this is the one we did it with. We actually put blue clear UV dye in one of these bottles. Because I do have some UD, uh, UV lights, but I don't know if I want to light this up more with like a kind of a soft white glow, or if I want to go with UV. The problem is the, it doesn't light up that much under UV. So, man, decisions. Some of these edges like look like they've been scuffed or something like in shipping. Like the inside of this screw is not black. It's a little ding right there. So I have to bring out my little black paint pen and kind of touch up some of this case here. Still haven't decided what hardware I'm going with in terms of storage. There's a lot of unknowns in this right now.
All right, that's where we're gonna stop for today. I, my goal today was get the GPUs installed, get the power supply wrapped, which we did. That's, I mean, it's pretty easy, but there was some contouring to do and to at least start the loop. The hardest part on something like this is always figuring out loop order. And I think I've got that how I want it. Now, this is the part where I always get asked, why am I going into the GPUs first? Won't the GPU heat up the CPU? Now you might actually be able to measure a couple of degrees difference in Celsius between the two components, but the bottom line is the radiators are going to keep the system at more of an equalized temperature where there's only gonna be a couple of degrees difference even in front of rads and after rads. That's another video. I'm tired of talking about that constantly because people just don't understand the way that it works. Trust me, it's gonna work fine, but we have kind of limited space to work with in here. You can see it's kind of crammed, right? Uh, so I, I wanted to at least get this loop order something that looks tidy, but not too tidy. This, this is a very abstract build, so it doesn't have to be super tidy, but I, I can't seem to help myself. I'm almost like hiding the tubing away, which is gonna be sad because we are using the silver for this. If you guys saw the 7960X build I did, I used the blue in there because this is just going to look best in here, in my opinion. I wanted a very monochromatic. We chose the, the name, uh, symbiote for this because of the Venom and Spider-Man thing. So this is this is like my Venom build. This is gonna be like, I don't know, this is, this. it actually kinda looks like it's alive, right? So this is why we're calling it Symbiote because of, yeah, the fluid and the colors. We're going to drain plug right here, which is kind of ironic because it's a terrible place for a drain plug. Like ideally having one down here would have been best. This, this loop's gonna be a, a bitch to drain no matter what, just because of the angles that everything's at. So whatever, this at least will allow me to drain the reservoir. But in order to, dr to, to drain this loop properly, it's gonna require a disassembly. So yeah. Also, you guys might notice, we put the black tops on the Dominator Platinums. These are the Cable Mod black tops. We tried the silver. Um, we thought it was too bright, too much shininess in there. So I ended up going with the black, which I think looks really good. These are gonna light up white underneath here, like just a soft glow of white, because remember these are lit naturally. And yeah, I think I'm gonna have to rotate the block a little bit too though, because now that we're going into the GPUs, we'll be coming out on this side. And this is the other thing too, a lot of people who've never seen a parallel build don't understand how this works. And I need to put screws back in there, I forgot. Um, this, it's gonna split the flow between the cards. So half the fluid's gonna go in here, roughly half. The other half is gonna go in here. And as long as your inlet and your outlet are on opposite sides, it will work fine. If your outlet is on the same side, then you're gonna flow straight through and you're not gonna promote flow through the graphics cards. So it's gonna go in here, it's gonna split, half is gonna go out, half is gonna go through the graphics card, it's gonna meet back up on this side, where half here is gonna go through, the other half's going back through the inside of the block, and then it will all come out right here and go into the CPU. That's why I think I need to rotate my block. I can take this off, re remove the bracket, rotate the block because this is the inlet and this is the outlet. So I'd like to kind of go straight into it, but I might also just do something crazy where I kind of come out and do some funky thing and go back in and then out, right? Because we, we want it to look, we want to fill up the space with some of the fluid, right? This is going to be the, sh the star of the show. The only thing I'm not sure about yet, I have to sleep on this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this piece right here. And it's still so wobbly until we get the glass on there, man. I would hate that. This is meant to hold SSDs or hard drives or a single like three and a half inch drive. I don't know if I'm gonna be going with any standard SSDs, at least right here. So I might remove this piece entirely, but then the problem is the orange piece that's right here, which is at home because I have to paint it, uh, is not gonna have anything to mount to right here, but it will still have a mount here, here, and up here. So I think that will be all right. We'll play around with it and see. If I remove this piece, then I can have a much cleaner route from the return here to the inlet on the reservoir. As you can see now, I've got this crazy kind of a fitting contraption here to sort of go around it, which I think looks terrible. So I've got to really kind of play around with that. But anyway, that's just an update here on the Threadripper build. Project Symbiote, Symbiote, whatever. My wife is texting me, so that means it's time to go. Edit this, edit this video and get it up online same day as what you guys saw today, we did today. Um, yeah, huge thank you though to the sponsors on this again. You know, of course, AMD for sending out the CPU, ASUS for sending out the motherboard. Hopefully ASUS Aura will work on this one, but that's a different subject. Of course, Performance Dash PCs, guys, I've used them for years. Long before I even started YouTube, they sent me all the fittings, the reservoir and pump, the blocks for this. Uh, EK actually sent me blocks as well, but they came too late, so I'll use those in another project. And then of course, Primo Chill for sending me the radiators. 
the custom powder coated radiators at that for this build specifically, as well as my custom powder coated revolver fittings. So yeah, definitely got a lot here in this build. Oh, and of course, Corsair for sending me the AX1200i PSU that I'm using in this build, which is wrapped in carbon fiber, which looks so much better. Anyway, I'm gonna go guys. Hopefully I can wrap this up in the next video. And uh, I hate doing multi-parters, but builds like this take time. And I appreciate, appreciate you guys checking it out. Also too, if you want your own Jace 2 Sense gear, fall is here and winter is coming. And I don't mean like Game of Thrones, although I'm sad that it's over for now, but get your hoodies and stuff, link down in the description below. It keeps me from having to do things like Patreon and whatnot. At least you guys get something for your money other than these mediocre videos. So with that said, I'm gonna go guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.